through the dingleberry lingleberry, <laughs> and you can't stop that. Okay, I'm I have 100 no bucks. back hair, dude. I yeah. swim so fast. I go, I go. <laughs> Passion of the Christ, but it's the Braveheart main character. <laughs> He's like, freedom! <laughs> Question, do y'all know how dyslexia is proven? Because I'm starting to stop out my habit. I swear to God. This conversation's too smart. So anyways, do you think swimmers would bleach balls <laughs> swim faster? <laughs> yeah, dude, I haven't said squirm since last time I tickled a child. You don't even know what you're saying. You're like a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what production that's supposed <laughs> that's what it's all about though. That's what I was saying. This podcast, highest production value of any Thanks, man. podcast ever. Probably. Welcome back to the podcast. This is Jet Entertainment tonight. Oh we got Nate Dowling back again. And we got the one and only Mr. Chattanooga. Oh man, Patrick Cuddle here. Thank you for having me. I'm a little honestly. Upset. You I don't have your sash, but I should have brought it. Honestly, yesterday being Mr. Chattanooga is such a like a high honor <laughs> that uh, you are pretty lucky to have me on this podcast. Yeah, no, <laughs> I I I had to beg you to come on before mm-hmm. you like blew up. Because I know there's a few agents trying to. Yeah, well, that's the. I agreed to this before I uh, won the title, so I had to, <laughs> I had to honor my uh, previous things. Yeah. But Don't lie, you renegotiated yeah. your price. You renegotiated. You don't even know. What, what renegotiated means. You can't use words you can't spell. Dude, dude I use... No, you'd be surprised. Wait, you can't spell? You're right on that. Bro. Yeah. I use words I don't even know what the meaning is, but somehow I use them right. Hey, try not to, like, slam dude, that too I, much. Just my bad. your mic's on the table. Mm-hmm. That's what it sounds like, just so you can... Hear <laughs> Thank That's you. That's a good, like, audio sync for these mics. There you go. I'll keep my hand... <laughs> There's here. our clapper. Blam! <laughs> 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 Yeah, I don't like that. Well, I need an armrest. I'm sorry. I don't like that, though. Mm. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can put your arm oh, up okay. there. Just You're very like, at ease. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Be mindful of it, you know? I don't do mindfulness. That's, I, that is well apparent. <laughs> What's the opposite of mindfulness? You. Mind- <laughs> no. It's literally mindlessness. <laughs> That's what I am. Yeah. I'm mindlessness. <laughs> I agree. Patrick? I, this is going to be a podcast of us agreeing with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. As long as he stays <laughs> honest like that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. You got to stay honest. I don't know if I'm honest sometimes. I can't even tell what's... Uh, I can differentiate between reality and fiction and fucking... <laughs> you know what I mean? Lies and truth. There's no telling. Mm-hmm. There's no telling. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's why I'm so gullible because I believe anything anybody says because I don't know what's going on anytime. Ever. I've noticed that. Yeah, I go with whatever you're doing. <laughs> you know what is I mean? That- is that gas station closed yet? Nate, can you go get us something? <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was going to ask you for real. Would you go run over there and get us a six-pack? I'll cash up you. All right. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. You want a Whoa. couple beers? Fuck, dude. I will drink. I could drink a beer. Yeah. This is going to be six used as evidence in a right? DUI case. Like <laughs> thanks, no one's dog. driving. Dude. <laughs> we're, we're camping out. I brought the hammocks. Yeah, dude. That's why it was a joke. Because we're not what? driving. Huh? Well, here. Here, I'll give you a uh, debit card. Grab my wallet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, nice catch. Grab he my wallet. It, yeah. uh, Off camera. Or, <laughs> hell yeah. I'll text you my pin. <laughs> <laughs> What's your pin? Just tell him. It's just a pin emoji. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can censor it. You can bleep it. Yeah. Give us your pin. Give him something else to do. Nice. I'm going to drop those numbers subtly through the rest of it. <laughs> 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 I want to be like, yeah, just the other day I saw five birds flying by. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them broke off. <laughs> you and then one up. squirrel came down the tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's three numbers. That's and the whole pin. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say the last one. but <laughs> And I then I jacked off it. nine times. <laughs> oh, is that the last number? Damn, I messed it up. <laughs> 
I was going to go with six. I lost it, too. Well, we that wasn't the real number, what we yeah, were saying. Those but. were wrong numbers. Question. Do y'all know how dyslexia is proven? Because I'm starting to think <laughs> I might have it. I swear to God. I don't know yeah. if I have it or if I am like got a mild case of it. How is it? Seasonal. What do you mean? How <laughs> is it <laughs> proven? dyslexia. I don't know, dude. Do yeah. Like, because like, that honestly no, well, is a, a good question. How do they how, measure it? How do they prove yeah. dyslexia? Well, here's the thing. Okay, this is my thought process. Like, I when people will say numbers to me, strings and numbers, oftentimes verbally, I'll mix them up all like left. I don't get the right digits, but I'll they'll be. Yeah, that's not right. dyslexia. You sure? Dyslexia is reading. You're yeah, just retarded. I'm, yeah, but what's verbal yeah, that's dyslexia? A, that's like a listening thing. No, but verbal dyslexia is what it's supposed <laughs> to be called. I'm audible sure. dyslexia. Uh, yeah. No, audible's yeah. trademark. We can't use that. It's term. like dysuria or something. Yeah. Good point. Dysuria? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, your what? Ears. Dis- it's like dissing diff- ears. Yeah, it's dysuria. This ear, oh, oh, I yeah, guess. It's what was the ears. first word? Dyslexia. 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 Dysuria. I get what you did there. Fuck, dude. It took me a minute. I thought we were on something else. Entirely. No, that's the um. That's what it really is. Is it really? Yeah, I'm good. Dis- oh yeah, me too. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't know why. That was too. That wasn't good <laughs> enough of a lie to like be like. This is dysuria. I should have lied about something. More raw. You told me it was a. You told me <laughs> more was, raw. Yeah. You told let's me it was talk, the truth. Let's talk raw and real, dude. Yeah. Raw Monday night raw. Yeah, Monday Smack night down, raw, dude. Let's go. What's up with Vince McMahon's <laughs> <I never> fucking <laughs> pedo mustache? Have you seen that? I've never uh, watched WWE, <coughs> WWF, WWE, ever. WWE, ever. Oh, as a okay. Kid? I've played a couple video games about it. Did you watch wrestling as a kid? I used to watch it. And I was watching it at my grandma's house, and she was like, "You're gonna be a redneck if you keep watching that." <laughs> it's and fair. I point. quit watching it. I never really watched. That it. is a fair point. I mean, you're an Udawa. My life. You're an yeah. Udawa. You would have made friends that watch wrestling, yes, and most of them dude. are rednecks. I would have saw someone with a wrestling shirt and been like, "Let's hang out." Yeah. And then if, I would have tried meth, bro. <laughs> That's how it if, goes. If you had watched wrestling, then meth. Wrestling's a gateway drug. If you had started watching that at a young age, you probably would have still gotten into comedy and ended up performing like headlining every week at the Pikeville fucking indie wrestling show. Dang, <laughs> fucking dude. all those red- dude. You want to go? You want to <laughs> go? Fucking do the Bobby Slam. What is what that? Is it, what does he fucking call it? Is I it don't a even know. Wrestling thing. Comedy SmackDown or we something. Did, I don't. We know. did like. A fucking comedy set before uh, wrestling in the ring. That's awesome in Pikeville, Tennessee. In, That's dude. awesome. Yeah, in the ring. We and got up in the <laughs> ring. And the fucking did stand up. And this, <clears throat> this, the ring is really bouncy too, so it was fucking whack as shit. <laughs> and you horrible. couldn't hardly see anybody. And there's kids. There's like a hundred people there. Yeah, yeah, it had to be clean. Sick. Yeah, it's clean. so cool. <laughs> that's so the so funniest bad. place. Yeah, no, like I know that's not the best place. The for sound comedy, was horrible. But like that's the, that is such a good story, bro. <laughs> it you was to do comedy before wrestling. <laughs> it was horrible. It was wrestling. the worst Lost wrestling. Ever. It was. We. He was like, "Let's stick around for one." Comedy <laughs> sucked. And it was. It was better than the wrestling. Thank you, know? you sir. Do you think the people in the crowd were like, bring back the comedy? Thanks for getting there. <laughs> no, dude. They were, they did not. I did a chemistry joke. It went so far over their heads, dude. Yeah, they haven't dude. even heard of chemistry, man. They're like, I'll take that drink. And I'm like, no, it's a science <laughs> study. We were also like, fucking, I think I was maybe six months in. Too. Yeah. Fucking. It was like er, it was cold out, and so <laughs> it, was it was probably it was December. Bad. It must have been like December, January <laughs> yeah, of last yeah. year. Oh, so not or, even or over a year ago. Year ago, but there was it was in a giant like warehouse type of shit, and um, it was so fucking bizarre because they had this like jet engine. I swear to God, to heat up the place, it was yeah, shooting a those, flame like fifty yeah, feet, and like kids were running around and like one of cooking those big marshmallows in uh-huh. heaters. Yeah, you know, those dude. torpedo heaters. I think Where I can it's picture like, it. It's like a. It looks like a fucking propane can that they cut the bottom end off, and then they have a turbine in it that's like blowing a fucking flame. Dude, out. <laughs> that's sick. Like you see it in mechanics. That's like shops a. That's like we're gonna get a badass way to heat up the fucking <laughs> wrestling mat. You know, we're gonna heat it up with. The Damn it, my heater went out. It's all right. I got a settling turbo jet engine <laughs> heater. <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> blow it in these kids' faces, man. They're gonna love it. Light your cigarette <laughs> on it. <laughs> They're like, AC? Give me AC, DC. Bow, bow, bow. Hell yeah, Water brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they get into a discussion about classic rock. <laughs> 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 like, what's your favorite band? <laughs> no, nah, dude, I don't even recognize fucking uh, Def Leppard if it ain't S- Stevie Lee. What's his fucking name? <laughs> I don't fuck Steve Lee Roth or whatever. I'm still learning celebrities. 
Nice. Not music. Yeah, he said I watched that uh, Mel Gibson movie. No, he said I watched that Braveheart movie, uh, <laughs> The Patriot. <laughs> I watched that Braveheart oh movie, God. The Patriot. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I am dumb. Well, well, it's like that's one of the best Braveheart movies. Right? <laughs> that is the best Braveheart movie, The Patriot, dude. Yeah, man. Passion of the old. Christ was up there for Braveheart. That's movies. a good Braveheart movie. I've never seen it. <laughs> Lethal Weapon's a good Braveheart. Dude, movie. Lethal Weapon it pa- might be the best. Passion that that might be the best Braveheart movie. Yeah. <laughs> Passion of the Christ, but it's the Braveheart main character. <laughs> the whole time. He's like freedom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And they're like, what are you talking about, dude? I thought you were the son of God. <laughs> like he refuses to surrender. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jesus, but he's like, you're not crucifying me. <laughs> he dies in battle. <laughs> That's fucking Rips great, his own hands dude. off. He's like, ah! And like, just falls flat. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he attacks from off yeah. the cross. They crucify him, and he comes down off the cross, and then it keeps fighting. That would be awesome. Holy shit, that's good. <laughs> that is the best Braveheart movie. Dude. Is, you're right, Passion of the Christ is the best Braveheart. That's fucking awesome, dude. Instead of it's done, he just looks up to the heavens and... They may take my life, <laughs> <laughs> but they will never take... <laughs> that's great, dude. My Are face the- paint! You know what I mean? <laughs> Love face paint. Face paint. Yeah, dude. Yeah. When uh, when Nate did the bow, 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 can you add like a rock band? <laughs> yeah. Ensemble with him. That was a pretty good bow, bow, guitar bow, bow, bow. hero, bro. It's a pretty Thanks, good man. one, dude. I tried real hard. I practiced it on the way up here. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you just turn off the radio and make some noise <laughs> yeah, in your yeah, mouth yeah. for a while. Yeah, dude. Sometimes yeah. I'll stand in the mirror still as an adult and make faces and just make get in the car in a quiet spot and make noises. Y'all ever do that? I still? do make some noises sometimes, but I don't think it's like the way you're making noises. What type of mo- noises do you make? I don't know. Like I'll just, huh. I'll just start going like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Sometimes I'll just be like, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. Like, like I'll be walking through my house just being like, fuck. fuck. You, ever just, <laughs> shit. you ever just pretend you have Tourette's, dude? <laughs> that might be kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, the, that's you know, fun, dude. Pretending you have Tourette's, just walk around going, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's fun, dude. dude. I that's a good time. I think I have dyslexia, low key, and a little You're Tourette's. Pretending. No, dude. I think I have a little Tourette's because I've always wanted to say fucked up. Nate, shit. you just are trying to find a way to be special because you're a straight white man. That's not true. You're not fucking special. He might really <laughs> have a problem reading. And he might really have a problem controlling the things he says. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude. Yeah, but it doesn't mean he's dyslexic and has Tourette's. Bro. They would have diagnosed that by now. Yeah, Bro, it's probably but, something else. For real, I learned this about Tourette's recently. Maybe dyslexia. Tourette's is like the brain, the filter part of your brain where it's like where bad shit is stored or something is turned off. And so that's why they say curse words specific. Oh, wait, no, wait. I messed it up. My bad. Cut that explanation. Let's add in this explanation. <laughs> <laughs> wait, one second. Wait, you now don't want to seem dumb on the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to seem like you don't know what you're talking about. I'm just dude. trying not to waste these fine people's time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all we all expect Us? you to be 100% accurate wearing a drug rug. No, okay. dude. I feel like this is what professors wear at some universities. Yeah, I mean, that's true. You, you you've see never seen a university. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bro, also true. <laughs> Did y'all go to college? No. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. Dude. He did. Flex. Wait, I, how far? Yeah, I was there That's for why six he's years. Mr. Chattanooga, dude. Six yeah. years, dude? <laughs> what degree did you get? <laughs> a bachelor. Uh, I went to UTC, University of Tennessee, Chattanooga. Four year degree, six years. Environmental science. <laughs> Wait, like, what'd nice you start on before that? Because you must have changed your mind. No, I started on environmental science. I just went to school and got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to class for like a year or two, you know. Yeah, it dude, that'll do. But then I yeah, still finished, dude. so I don't. I have mixed feelings about it because I was like, I totally dicked off so hard at college, and it's like I finished, dude. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. They don't give it out for nothing. So wait, yeah, environmental dude. science. What did you want to do? I don't know. I wanted to do like shit in <laughs> nature and shit, yeah. but I do a lot of like jobs with my degree are for polluters. Because um, that's who needs an environmental scientist. So, mm. like, a lot of them are for, like, landfills and shit. And I'm not going to, like, I don't want to do that. I don't even, oh, it's not my thing. Dude, know? that's crazy because I've been That's saying, all the jobs that make any money. You yeah. can work for, like, nonprofits and shit, but you you won't, just won't get real money, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, I've been saying <laughs> that I like the smell of landfills, so I totally should have been an environmental scientist and fucking gone out to landfills and done my thing. I would have been sniffing fresh air. Mm-hmm. I would have been happy. They would have been happy. I'm like the only person who could probably do that job. 
Yep. <laughs> that job's probably getting neglected without me. So. And so you wanted to be the guy who's like in the woods, like taking soil samples. Yeah, I wanted to like go out looking at like worms. M- uh, <laughs> Definitely worms. worms would be cool. Honestly. Yeah, dude. Worms <laughs> I, would be cool. I haven't seen one in that's, a minute. That's uh, <laughs> vermiculture, dude. Worm vermiculture? farms. Yeah, that's what it's called. Like vermiculture, dude. Worm Is that farms. Like furry shit? You can make like millions of dollars if you get a big ass worm farm. You just oh. like cultivate worms and you sell them. I don't, I don't know, but like straight so up. So you maybe. just have worm slaves that you breed and raise to <laughs> sell to people that put the, on hooks. The master of the worms. Just so they can be put on a hook yeah. and fucking be fish bait. Dude, any animal products is like that to <laughs> vegans. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what you're totally exploiting the animal yeah. for sure. But also like... Well, only if it's, it's a worm. Only if <laughs> the thing is, like, it's only ex- exploiting the animal if it's done in an exploitative way. Like, factory farming is yeah. bad. I don't think that the worms are bothered by cultivating them. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> They're just happy to be in a cold, wet. They just place like dirt, dude. Eating They're shit. just like, yeah, yeah man, I fucking love this exactly, dirt. Exactly, dude. dude. It's like big plastic tubs of dirt and <clears throat> shit with no predators. They. They're just having... It's the best life. They're just fucking in a big I, tub of dirt. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice, dude. I kind of want to be a worm. <laughs> just be with a bunch of other worms just fucking in a big tub of dirt, dude. Bro, That's all you, you do? You just do eat shit? <laughs> what do you want to do today? Let's fucking eat dirt, uh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know that worms had like a religious inclination like that to like come together, form a cult, and have an orgy and shit, like cult shit. You know what I, I mean? I don't think it's religious. I think it's more hedonistic they're yeah, just, but they're just fucking and suck dude the worms are the one that that is true god is the worms. <laughs> dude, that's the one true god because it's death dude that's what it represents decay wait well, if you had a worm statue if it was hard would that be like sacrilege to the worm like it has to be <laughs> yeah. soft like the worm yeah. it's just like <laughs> flopping around it's like no that's yeah. not accurate you can't make this <laughs> We gotta have a big floppy worm. <laughs> Bro, That's a good point, dude. Yeah, dude. That's disrespectful to the worm to make it's a like big a false stone. Idol. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> false idol. It's like the exact opposite of everything worms like sit for. Yeah, they st- they yeah. they squirm for yeah. they squirm for <laughs> floppiness, dude. Squirm is a great word, dude. They I do not heard squirm that. for firmness. I Isn't it cool that worms squirm? The dude, worms do like, all the worm their, squirm. That's their thing. Yeah, dude. I haven't said squirm since last time I tickled a child, but. Hell yeah. All <laughs> right. I think we might have to cut that for legal reasons. <laughs> no, no, dude. Yeah, it was, for it was illegal. Protection. For Nate's legal. No, dude, yeah. no. It was illegal tickling. Illegal tickling. And plus, kids can't file lawsuits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You, s- you even... cracked the case. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have phones, you know? <laughs> kids can't file lawsuits. You can tickle all, <laughs> tickle them all you want, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell Malcolm Jackson that. <laughs> oh, dude, no, he got away with it, bro. He died before anything say, happened. He, he did Just get know. away with it, so. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> actually, that's who I'm pulling the from the playbook from. You know what I mean? Of Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. He knows what's up, man. I'm gonna start distancing myself <laughs> from you, career Good wise. Luck, dude, I've had your fucking whole life story <laughs> written down for years. Yeah, you fucked up. You guys had a podcast together. Yeah, that's I can scrub co-host. that from the internet. That's true. <laughs> Once Nate, I'll scrub you on the internet, on our OnlyFans, dude. Fuck you, Patreon, whatever. How much do you think if you got if there was like you have some viewers for this? Do you think you could get someone to pay something to for Nate to wash your back? What's the bottom? What's the lowest number you would take? Five dollars for him to just like wash your back. Five dollars. Like we're in a bathtub together and he's scrubbing my back. Five dollars. That's your low. I'm asking. (laughs) Two hundred bucks. No, Two hundred bucks. Pay I'm the not... speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro! I gotta sp- I gotta get the speeding ticket paid. Okay, for so boss. you're not two hundred bucks. I'll fucking let Nate scrub my back for whatever reason. No, I don't but know you who would want to naked. see that? You have to be naked in the bathtub. Well, yeah, with how else are you gonna scrub my back, okay. dude? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'll do it for the bit, dude. I'll do it for free. 
He will do it for free because all the money's going to go towards that speeding ticket. I'm, not, just, I'm not joking about hey, that. Yeah, Good. I got to figure out a way to pay that. Cut, dude. Sorry, because it's the thing is he doesn't want you to wash his back, but you want to wash his oh, back. Oh, he thinks I'm not getting a cut. Y'all think I'm not getting cut. Oh, trust me, I'm getting mine in this. I'm that's scrubbing Jets that's naked. The satisfaction, back. yeah. That's that's why he gets some. Two hundred bucks. I know people would pay three hundred to do that. My naked hairy back. You can. You're, it's hairy. Away. Yeah, God, I'm so hair. stoked, nice. y'all. Give me the five hundred bucks. I have no bucks. back hair, dude. I, I got, swim so fast. I got, I, got, <laughs> <laughs> I got a little bit of back hair, a little bit of chest hair, dude. Wait, if nice. swimmers have always like shaved their entire body, but if I shave, dude, I I could fucking swim. I'm like a, I'm like, <laughs> a, like fucking, a dolphin. I'm like a manatee, bro. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I'm fast. Dude. I swim like a manatee. I'm bro. fast, dude. I'm telling you. I don't know if the hair actually holds you back in the water because they've been they've been shaved for so long for centuries. That like when was the last time we put a hairy motherfucker? I mean, there's dudes, in the pool. There's dudes that swim competitively that refuse to mm-hmm. shave and they don't win. The <laughs> yes. Oh man, maybe they're just weak. Okay. I mean, we're talking like Michael fractions Fight. of a second. If you want to be the goat, you gotta shave your ass, dude. Hundred percent. You yeah. have to shave your butt. You gotta wax your asshole. But you yeah. think the the way <laughs> the bleach hair- it? You have to bleach it too. The color throws off the speed a lot. Hundred <laughs> percent. If it's too brown, dude, the water starts <laughs> it starts to drag. <laughs> the water's trying to get away from yeah. it. Water's trying to push away from <laughs> from the brown hole. <laughs> if anything, it'd be like a propulsion Can't. system to have a dirty asshole. Because the water tries to get away, and you, psh, you know what I mean? Just shoot you across the true. Equal water. and opposite That's reaction. Right. Yep. That's very yep. True. I did physics. Well, actually, it might be trying to suck into the brown hole, like a black hole. <laughs> oh, you know? yeah. It might be trying to suck. Then you have more mass, and then it's slowly yeah, build up. Uh, cavitation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very scientific conversation yeah. we're having. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> pleased with this, dude. Hey, yo, yeah. <laughs> it's a <laughs> smart <laughs> episode. Yeah, it's very smart. I'm just getting pleased. We're going to have to put a warning, content warning. Like, <laughs> hey, if you're not... <laughs> if, you're if your not, IQ's under 100, yeah, you're can't. not going to be able to handle yeah. this. You just conversation. Watch at point five <laughs> speed if your eyes. Idiots, beware. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots <laughs> beware. Idiots <laughs> beware. My glove fell This off. conversation's too smart. So anyways, do you think swimmers would bleach buttholes <laughs> swim faster? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck no. Fuck no. Maybe. Fuck yeah. You guys ever Fuck shave your maybe. ass? I haven't. I've shaved my asshole. I had a girl who wanted to finger it. Why did you have to shave it for her to finger it? Bro, I mean, I can understand. I can there. understand licking, hurt. but you don't have to shave it. She for wanted her to finger. lick it too, but I, I didn't did want she? her catching any dingleberries. She didn't lick it. She rubbed it one time. Why are you worried pants. about dingleberries? You didn't get in the shower first, bro. No matter how much you shower, the dingleberries. That is berries. not true. <laughs> you finish clean the your dingle- ass. Up, yeah, you no. need a wipe better Listen, for one. That's you don't know shit about my ass, dude. The dingleberry lingleberry, <laughs> and you can't stop that shit. Okay, it's gonna stay with or without your consent. Legal, very legal, very. Yeah, dude, that's what happens. So that's why you have to fucking rip your ass hair out every fucking three months, and then <laughs> rip it. Out. I pull it out. I don't shave it. I pull it <laughs> out. My asshole, the way it's shaped, I'm worried the razor's gonna catch on it? the lip. Do you why don't you use it? nair, dude? The plucking would take too long. Why don't you use nair, of, dude? I ain't fucking gay. <laughs> nair. I don't even know what nair is, dude. It it's gets hair, the hair off your ass. It's for getting your ha- hair. Oh, it means no it's hair. A cream like it means you, no hair. You put nair. you put the cream wherever the hair is, and then you fucking wipe it away. I'm not creaming my it ass, says, dude. I'm gonna fucking rip that shit out. My, like a man. I did it for my shoulders one time because I was subconscious <laughs> about going to the beach. Your subconscious. Cause you got hairy shoulders, dude. So self con whatever. Fucking <laughs> I confused you. Yeah, ass. I got a little bit of hairy shoulders. I don't care now, but uh then prove it, show me. Okay. I was joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Let's I, see I only nared I only yeah, nared one shoulder. <laughs> and it fucking smelt so bad that I left the other oh, one hairy. Oh, you! Oh, but this dude. one grew back thicker the next time. So you got to beware of that. You should have told him like, the nair. beware of the nair, dude. Get, dude, put it on your asshole. <laughs> It'll Pretty grow soon thick. You got a jungle. Yeah, you might. <laughs> it might start catching turds, dude. You might have a turd. <laughs> the nair. nair? Or the hair. Th- the hair. Oh. After the nair. Oh, dude, I've tied it in a knot before, and it just slices right through, man. The shit's too soft for it to actually get caught by the hair, and the hair's too razor thin. But I'm telling you, if you just go down there and my twist friend, and pull. My friend Claire uses nair, but now she lost all her hair. Alopecia or cancer? <laughs> <laughs> or is it a challenge? Huh? 
<laughs> one, one, one of the it three. Was a dare. dare. It was a dare. Uh, it was number three. I was hoping it was alopecia or cancer. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I meant just alopecia. I, cancer just slipped in there. Yeah. Clear. <laughs> what are some common Clear. things about the words Jed has been using, Nate? Um, <laughs> Basic. Nothing. Yeah. No connection. Nothing. No connection. There was nothing. He was just talking. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Clear. Who, Clary, Are we talking about Jed or me? Claire using no. there, to, <laughs> but she lost her hair because of a dare. Oh, my bad. I thought that was your friend, and I felt bad accusing her of getting cancer and shit, and I didn't want to. You know. Yeah, you don't want to accuse anyone of getting cancer. <laughs> you have cancer. What, a, what an <laughs> accusation. Dude. Don't accuse me of that. Hey, fuck you. You have cancer. <laughs> Last That's honestly an awesome thing to say. Like fans, a, I'm yeah. sorry. I know you heard I got accused of having cancer. <laughs> I want to say it is without a doubt not true. <laughs> I have no way, shape, and form ever been diagnosed with cancer. I will <laughs> never, I will not allow these accusations to stand. Shape and form. He to meant to say it like that. Right. It wasn't a correction. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you misspoke. Yeah, you could just fucking let it go. I had to back you up because they would have ripped you apart. In the <laughs> I had to, I had they would have been up. like, those guys are being yeah. so mean to yeah. Nate yeah. for no reason. Yeah, especially when he talks <laughs> like a dumbass. And then they would have <laughs> said, Jet was fucking up like crazy. Patrick yeah. is fucking up exactly. like crazy. Nate is the only, he's like the only straight person on the <laughs> They would say he did get a comment one leader. time where the, I'm pretty sure it was on one of the drunk podcasts. And uh, the dude was like, this guy can't even fucking speak. <laughs> that was it. He, this guy can't even speak. That's awesome. I was hammered. I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, you fucking drink as much as I did and see if you can speak, bro. You're drunk. It, it record yourself and put it on the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <it's> stupid. <laughs> Bro, your drunk talk is so similar to when you're imitating drunk talk, and it's not because you're good at imitating; it's because you have a really stupid drunk voice. Mm. I just want to let you know that. Wouldn't that still make me good at imitating my stupid drunk voice? No. Mm, okay. It's just a stupid drunk voice. I think you got the drunk voice after the imitation. Uh, I got you. <laughs> Let's hear your drunk voice. I'm not answering any questions, officer. That was hilarious. That dude. was good. Great. No, dude, that's what you did. It wasn't even supposed to be dude, funny. I'm I don't you know why you don't join like. the ambush improv. You'd be group. I would good. be pretty good, dude. I probably would be, be so good. <laughs> they, would be, they would be like, all right, we want a scene. And they get their scene and they'd be like, okay, we're we're uh, firefighters in a kitchen. <laughs> What if, what if, but what if we're like firefighters and and we fuck squirrels because we like got to save cats from trees, but every time there's a cat in a tree, I grab a squirrel and I fuck it. What if we do that? Saying, that's a good, that's like that. You're like, that's good. You're like, can I, <laughs> that's, can I, that's like, good. can I write that down? Can I take that? Can I have that? <laughs> Let's try that one out. <laughs> can we talk about the didgeridoo? That, oh, I don't know. Yeah, sure. We can the rationality it. behind the Jesus decision. Christ. I mean, it's really just based off of kind well, of... Well, hold on. Let's give context. What happened. Yeah. You, I own a you, didgeridoo. You own a didgeridoo and you've been going on stage <laughs> wait, with a didgeridoo. Wait, one step at a time. I own a didgeridoo. My name's Nate. I've owned it for approximately five years. I have brought on stage only a few times. It's a large wooden tube used by Aborigines Australians, mm -hmm. and uh, I, it sounds cooler <laughs> than that. It sounds a lot cooler than that. It sounds similar to that, but if it was in a wooden tube. And so, <laughs> what did you now that you've given the history of didgeridoos <laughs> that we didn't explain ask your for. personal relationship <laughs> with what happened recently? With I've didgeridoos. so a lady shit on me at work, <laughs> and it in. Zero. That's not it. That's not that, what. That is. That that's is, not the important detail. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the fact that you're taking a didgeridoo on stage. Well, it was part of it. I had to cope. <laughs> the day after the lady shit on me, I went on stage with the didge. That was not the first time. Yes, it was. It was the very did. first time ever taking a didge. Before I'll show you all my videos. You um. Did I do it the week before? Basically, what happened was you walked in with a didgeridoo, like a six foot didgeridoo, and you're like. I'm going to bring this on stage. I'm, I'm not even going to play it. I'm just going to have it. Just to be like, whoa, look, this guy has got a didgeridoo. And then I started eating shit, and I fucking started playing it. Probably. That's the way to say was it. This, was this at That's Barking Legs? <laughs> was this at Barking Legs? It was a yeah. wanderlinger, I thought. I like that you tried something. Uh, you were like, I don't know about these jokes, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> I gotta, now I got a didgeridoo to you can work on something. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, the didgeridoo, it kills at the bar. Well, then you took it up at JJ's, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but no other Chattanooga comic has a didgeridoo. And then I and got then Andrew didgeridoo. Ledbetter said, yeah, Ryan Darling does. No, he said, read a laundry. It's Reed Ryan Landry. Darling. No, he did say Reed Landry, but... Oh, I thought it was it's, Ryan Darling, it, my bad. I will give you props for being the guy that's coming out with a didgeridoo and trying something new. I didn't Don't give him props. props. He's not doing anything with it. That's no, he didn't I write did. a joke about that's it. That's true. He didn't he write didn't, That's not he true. I did write a joke it. about it. What's a joke? Uh, fucking, uh, I have a didgeridoo and emergency knee pads in my car. Uh, fuck you. That's the joke. Okay, yeah, you're right. I didn't write a joke. Zero fuck. setup. Shut zero the fuck up. I'm working on it. I want you to I'm working uh, on it. take some time and actually work on it. No, I have been working on some, it. Get something for it, dude. For sure. Bro. Because there's so much potential with what you could do when you bring a didgeridoo. Yeah, no. like it sounds funny. If you play that after a joke bombs, it's a funny sound. I tried. It did, it, wor- it did worse there. It did better when I didn't bring it on stage and just said I have it in my car. Well, you... I think what you should do is you should tell a joke, and if it bombs, you go and grab, you acknowledge that that joke bombed, you go, fuck, and then you grab the didgeridoo and play it. And then you yeah. just keep doing Or you could have that. someone, like, bring it to you. Like, you what, could walk up cool. without it, and then you could be like, that joke sucked. That's true. Uh, I'll bring do me that. my didgeridoo. I'll do see, then, I think. Because they didn't see you walk up with it. Going on stage can, with the didge fucks me one. up. But then, yeah. what if I don't? What if a joke doesn't? And it's easy miss? for you because all your jokes miss. Shut so, up! No, what if it doesn't? Yeah, you won't have to be like. Yeah, I'm, you don't I'm, have to. I'm, worry. I might not get a chance if all these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that at all. <laughs> you have zero worry. <laughs> you will definitely get to use it. <laughs> Was that a diss? Yes. I love you, Nate. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I was just making sure it was a diss, and I wasn't misunderstanding something here. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I liked it. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is a classic uh, fucking Capricorn Sagittarius situation. Wrong. Dude, dude I don't even Completely fuck with planet names. Completely man. wrong. You fuck. guys are so uh, Pisces Gemini right now. <laughs> you got, <laughs> you no. got one right. <laughs> I'm not going to guess anymore. We could- Virgo. 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 Bird, go, girl. We got to go on spring break this year, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want to go to Jacksonville. We can crash on my buddy's pad. Shout let's, out, let's shout let's out sh- Delray uh, Fades or whatever. Y'all want to go kill as many Your wild friend's boars? name is Delray Fades. No, my okay. buddy's name is Jacob, but he runs a barber right. shop okay. in Jacksonville. It was like Delray Fades is a crazy <clears throat> ass name. Dude. That is a crazy name. If that was his real name, that would be wild. Shout out Delray Fanes. <laughs> I'll be like, I actually do want to go to Jacksonville. <laughs> Wait, Delray? <laughs> yeah, I'll go be Delray, <laughs> yeah, dude. Who the fuck is Delray? Wait, what's Delray? Jesus Christ. Did you li- do you listen to the rest of the conversation that's happening? Or you just yeah. wait for a pause so you can say something? It's, no, he doesn't wait for a pause. <laughs> He'd like... It's um, it's dysuria. He, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he hears it like one in every like fifteen words, and then he's like, "What does that word mean?" <laughs> or something like along those. Thanks lines. for standing up for me, bro. I needed <laughs> my life. Anytime, dude. Thanks, bro. Can you I be there tomorrow at three, you, dude? Can you take be tomorrow at three, dude? Huh? Tomorrow at three. For <laughs> <laughs> just any time. Yeah, you said, you said any time, and oh, I'm shit. I'm needing you tomorrow at three. He somebody, called your bluff. Yeah, there's somebody that can, no, there's somebody that com- comes into my work and yeah. bullies me, and I just need some help, man. <laughs> Who? I don't want to say, bro. It's embarrassing, bro. Are you really getting bullied? It's a chick, Connie. <laughs> don't fucking talk about it, Mike. Are you really getting bullied? Uh, not Connie, but yeah, I'm getting bullied at work. Dude. We're going to go solve this problem. The other potheads at the fucking bar will play board games and shit and not include me. And That's because you're working, Nate. I just That's feel a little true. left out. You are working. They're having fun. They're at you're, the bar. Yeah, you're working. They're bullying me, man. Oh, is bullying not wanting to play with you? <laughs> 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 yeah, man, you ever read the uh, Angry Bug? You probably get bullied by everyone if that's what bullying is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. I get bullied by everybody and it hurts my feelings. I was worried uh, I was going to come out here. You said 
Patrick, let's do the podcast tomorrow. I was like, yeah, bro. I'm no, I'm Mr. Chattanooga. It's still cool. <laughs> <laughs> but then you said, Kate, do you care if Nate's gonna be on it? <laughs> and I was like, is there anyone else that could? <laughs> I definitely could have. You should have said uh, something. Uh, I could have gotten shit. someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I know what I was saying is I was worried that the podcast was going to just be shitting on Nate. <laughs> no, it's oh, okay. And I'm happy it's not. I'm happy that it's, it's not. It's not. More that's not what that. this is. No, we're having. We, cool. We've had other discussions. Yeah. If you would let us fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll I'm, let just, y'all... I'm just no, kidding. I'm kidding. No, we kidding, are fucking kidding. with you. I'll it's let y'all talk if y'all rub my dick through my pants after this. Till I com- till completion. <laughs> <laughs> what made you? That's think a that? huge stipulation, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's a huge boner that I have under this glove right now. So y'all oh, better that's fucking what the get gloves to work. for. Is you like? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm hiding my. Little you boner. like the degradation, bro? A little big boner. What's degradation means, dude? <laughs> it's like when we're like, <laughs> just when we're getting on degrading you. Yeah. Oh, what? No, that's not the degradation. Same. Degrade. Degradation. Degradate. Degrade. It's a whole other word. Jesus fucking. Degrade. Yeah. It's what is it, past tense or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> Degradate. That's how you, it, that's a past tense word. It's an Asian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. So, I, so, I, so, I, so I, I levation the store the other day. And <laughs> levation station. I yeah, can't dude. think of any past tense, past tense words that aren't like ate or bought. Like I'm thinking of too. I can't think of anything. Swam. I can't think of any e. <laughs> Why do I can't words? either now that you fucking said it. I can't either. Why do all the words got to be tense Rund. in the first place? Why can't they chill the fuck out? Past tense, yeah, future let's tense. Let's talk about the present. Present tense. Yeah. That's the only time. Let's talk about the future, dude. Well, but even even the past, present, and future words, they're also fucking just chill, man. Smoke some weed and change the fucked up parts of English. You English is fucked. English is fucked. I'm pissed think, about it. I think we should fix English. I'm a hundred. English down is completely that. broken. I Chain, mean, that's turn like it into a, Chinese. It's been turned. Yeah, turn it into Chinese. Chinese is. We're gonna way learn better, Mandarin. Dude, Let's. They have like 500 fucking characters that, and they have, all their fucking words are the same sound, yeah. just said with different inflection. Mm-hmm. Not all their words. And we like, have. No inflection. One all like, the, every single word is the same. ho h o in Chinese in Mandarin said with different inflection can mean like fucking eight different but things. They don't I didn't know there was um, that people were speaking Mandarin to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin, <laughs> Mandarin doesn't have H's or O's. They use completely different letters. So you weren't looking There's at no Mandarin. H's. You were looking <laughs> at English. <laughs> The ho sound. Yeah. Wait, yeah, but... Eh. Ho sound. <laughs> I wonder if the KFCs in China are good. Oh, dude, wait. <laughs> That's a weird thing to <laughs> ponder on. <laughs> Why KFC yeah. specifically? Because it's like an American chain. Well, they have know? McDonald's too, do you think? That's what I'm saying. Do you I'll- think the McDonald's... Like, if I went to the Philippines or something, I would straight up... I would... I know it's like I'm the American, but I I want to see what the McDonald's is like. It is yeah, like, I mean you yeah. still go, you definitely still go to check mm-hmm. it out. McDonald's in foreign countries is only a tourist attraction to Americans. Everybody else is like, it's my case. And yeah. Then Americans are like, let's go see how it compares. You yeah, know? well, there, it's like we're in another country. Let's you only eat every like six hours, a couple times think- a day. It's like we're going to spend one of our times in another country just eating at fucking McDonald's. Do you think people from other countries do that when they come here? They're like, let's see if McDonald's is They probably want to check it out. I don't think sure. so. Do you think they're like, God, it sucks here? <laughs> yeah, I heard that like fast food. If you don't eat fast food, when you eat it again, it tastes like plastic. You really? know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plastic tastes pretty I good, I eat it though. too much to know. So. Yeah, it still tastes like Baconators to me. Yeah, it still tastes like a quarter <laughs> pounder. I just had one on the nice. way up. So I have had some food sometimes that I've bitten into and started chewing on. Was like, is this even food? Like I have like <laughs> <laughs> that. I believe this, that, that is one of the most believable <laughs> statements you've ever said. Really? I believe yeah. that you bite into random things. Going, is this food? You yeah. bite on the doorknob, dude. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is this food? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've chewed on a thing or two that ain't food. Yeah, I bet you have. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Couple fucking cocks. Oh, bro. Phew. <laughs> he Couple. Chew. Don't underestimate me. No teeth, dude. <laughs> oh, bro. If I had dentures, nah, I'd be sucking dick. 
<laughs> he gets them on the back teeth. I like to Gnaws chew. I like to chew and spit and act like it's dipping my mouth when it's somebody's dick, and they're just I'm walking around on my knees and my knee pads. <laughs> like you're ripping off a pack plug. Of yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep it on. No, no, no. They they're <laughs> walking with me while their dicks in my mouth. I'm like, <laughs> no. That's a tall guy. For them to be walking while you're, you could do it like knowledge. in a test, or that's a big cock. I suck Dak Shack's dick, Dak Shick. I suck the Shick. <laughs> you, you suck Dak Shepherd shit and <laughs> Shack's dick. <laughs> you suck Dak shit and Shack's dick, right? Maybe. Dak Shepherd is my best friend. God, it would have been so Woo! much better if Dave Hanna was here. I know. It would have been wow, but wow. you know what? Honestly, this is pretty good. This is all right. This is pretty Dag good. Dak Shepard is my best friend. Dave Hanna hates you. <laughs> he probably, <laughs> he's probably like, I don't want to go on that lame ass podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you have a best friend because like, Dave Hanna. I was drunk. You. I shouldn't have asked to go <laughs> on, that, dude. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. No, I bet he still wants to go on. He says he, he just does. is. I think Matt Harris is mad at me because I haven't rescheduled with him. Because you had to reschedule on him? Because I haven't rescheduled with him. We Get him in there. And I think he's mad at me. Get him in there. Mad if you're mad at me, I Did love you. Get, you. Um, Don't be mad. Sean Patton? Yeah. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good episode. That's awesome. That guy's crazy, dude. I, I got up to go pee twice, and he just kept just kept going. That's like, pretending awesome. to answer questions that uh-huh. I wasn't asking. <laughs> He would like, sit there and just keep asking, like he's questions. Be like, "Yeah, uh, so incest? Yes, I'm glad you brought that up." And then just go on a wow! And then he's so funny. That's he amazing. would remember something and then just go off on a tangent. Look at me and just start telling me this wild story, mm-hmm. and then go back to pretending like Jet was there. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. He's so funny, dude. That's awesome. He was. So yeah, funny. I saw him. I I was sick last weekend. I didn't get. I didn't saw come him out and see him perform, though, but right? I saw him perform in Chattanooga at the festival, and yeah. I was like, "This guy is." What like excellent stand up is? Yeah. It was like that. Like he was fucking awesome. Yeah, dude, like, he's great. Like his he's flow. Just, like he's just like a master. He's always he's so on. Good. Yeah. He's like always in time. You know what I mean? Constantly on stage, nothing throws him off. If something happens, he immediately goes to mm-hmm. it, calls it out, acknowledges it, and like keeps going. Doesn't oh. lose his timing. Doesn't lose anything. Him and Sam Talent. And David Tell are like the best I've seen at that. Hell yeah! That they're just David like, Tell's fucking awesome. David I watched Tell's one great. of his. He had a special called like Roadwork. Yeah. On Peacock, yeah. And it was him like just doing fifteen minutes at four different places. Oh, cool. And it was the funniest shit ever. Like just Hell the way yeah. he was working the crowd and shit. It was like he did God, that at damn. the Walker Theater, dude. We went and <clears> saw that's him awesome. at Walker. That's and, so cool. I mean, the way he just fucking he turned the Walker Theater into a. A club. You would have thought he was at the comedy catch. Yeah. Like, just the way he runs it. He's like, get up and go get a drink. Fuck it. Who cares? You didn't yeah. pay money for this show. Go. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, dude, he's just so funny. Sam Talent's great, too. Have you seen him live? I haven't seen him perform, but God. he is. Did you watch his special? No, I haven't. I've seen you gotta some gotta check of his it shit. out. The Toad's he's Morale. Awesome. Yeah. Dude. It's so. And. I heard him on a podcast. He's. When. We I saw him at the Don't Tell in Knoxville. When he comes into a room, like the energy changes in that room. It's weird. Hell yeah. Like, and I know that sounds weird to say, but like he turns up the energy in a room almost immediately. I mean, it was already high energy in the first place, but he went up there and he's like, "Wow, ah, fucking like you know, just <laughs> goes cool. in immediately." He's so good, dude. Y'all know Andy Sanford? No, I've I seen his so. name. I've seen. I mentioned him to you a few times. You've never seen him? No, I don't think I know him. Dude, that guy was fucking hilarious. I did a show in Maryville, that Two Doors Down show, and he was headlining it. <clears throat> like Tamar from Atlanta. She did yeah, JJ's one time. So, about. like, she was up there. She opened Tamar for that Rubin. set. Huh? Tamar Rubin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, fucking, I forgot the host name, Ryan Trilla, I think. And then fucking Andy went up, and bro, I was sitting with. Um, Beth and I was fucking crying, bro. We were, I was like, I was about to walk outside. My face was hurting. That might have been the That's hardest awesome. I've ever laughed. And I've never really checked out his stand up because I followed him on Instagram after the show, but I never really get on Instagram. So I haven't really seen much of his stand up. I don't know if he has a special out or something, but dude, he was, that's one of the funniest fucking times I've had, bro. Laughing my ass off. What was her name? Andy Sanford. 
Shout out. Yeah, shout dude, he's out been on Conan. Yeah, I know he needs it with our, you know, we have a pretty good platform. <laughs> yeah. He's been on People Conan, but that's just not going to get you all the way just going on Conan, the late night show. Like, sometimes you need Jed Entertainment tonight to, you know. That's what I was telling Sean Patton, dude. I was like, you don't need Joe Rogan now, dude. You came <laughs> on this podcast. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is what's going to. Yeah. This, I was like, the boost you're going to see from this. I know you <laughs> were on Conan with Michael Shea and stuff, but. The boost you'll see from this podcast, you'll you'll thank me Yo, later. I promise. People yeah. have been all two hundred people that are gonna see that episode, they'll follow you. Dude, that's <laughs> two hundred followers stop, guaranteed. Stop being humble. 200. He's saying million. He's talking millions right now, dude. Dude, they, I've seen rumors online that Joe Rogan is actually sweating you rising so fucking fast through the ranks. Just dominating, man. You're like, you don't even do cold plunges or anything like that, and you're <laughs> fucking killing. Yeah, bro. It. Imagine if cold you were, showers. Yeah, only. if you cold plunge, you got sleeves and started doing jujitsu, bro. Got less Park fat, run, dude, dude. If you got I unfat, wish. that would really make you fucking better at everything, probably. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're still kind of a piece of shit. Thanks, dude. Thanks. That was almost nice. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to disagree. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> 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 boys. <laughs> boys, boys. I like it when you call us boys. That's kind of hot. Boys. <laughs> okay, say it like that I again. Do that all the time. I like that. That's you have a really I... good old man voice. It's like an old lady voice. No, boys. 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 Full well, oh man. Tell us how the show yeah, went the other the night. The show was so. Oh, everybody was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Patrick, many, many people of, died. Many people died. <laughs> Master of improv, Patrick. <laughs> Mr. Chattanooga himself. <laughs> I am a god, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, god. I'm figuring myself. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm filing in the Supreme Court for a recount because I'm pretty sure your dad rigged the votes. Pretty sure you Courtney did. told me that I won the popular vote. Yeah, I don't think but so. But I also... I, I think, also feel like I got some I think you stole the electoral vote. Dude. What do you think they got the votes from? <laughs> Your parents? My parents were there. My dad probably put in some money for sure. I don't think he would have just like thrown in like 200. See, people. I thought it was a free democracy where where just the audience was there. They paid their ticket and they got to vote because they were there. I didn't know you had to pay to vote. No, see. No, the voting was free. Oh. You could just pay for, like, extra, <clears throat> like, to vote again. Oh, you know okay. yeah. And so your dad's rich. <laughs> yeah, My dad's got a boat, so. I <laughs> My dad's got a boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a small-ass hey, boat. You're making. My dad new. doesn't have a boat. Does your dad have a boat? He's used to. We have a canoe. It's not a, really a boat. It's a that canoe. It doesn't count. My dad's got a pontoon boat, dude. Yeah, dude. Damn. Pontoon is actually a pretty big deal <laughs> around here. Pontoon always cruising. Always pontoon, pontoon is the Ferrari of My the dad river. rented a pontoon one time. We went out on it. Nice. That was like yeah. 20 years dude, ago. We went to Florida recently, like around Tampa, and my dad fucking towed the pontoon boat all the way to Florida. Damn. Damn. Behind the car. To go to the Behind ocean. Behind a car? Yeah, well, it was a truck, oh, but okay. he towed it. The to the o- it was like a fucking twelve hour drive. I was, I was like, you're the dumbest guy ever. I yeah, dude. It. And it was like, it was fun <laughs> to have the put it out. It was like, dude, that is not worth it. Yeah, Probably. bro. We were fucking like, literally using it in the ocean. The in same the boat. ocean or in the causeways? We didn't go out into like the ocean shit. Right. We we're in the intercoastal. Yeah, we we're whatever. going into space, yeah. bro. Causeway. What the fuck? <laughs> Whatever. Why are you going to fucking correct me on semantics, dude? <laughs> because I have nothing else to do. Put it in the comments if causeway is an acceptable term for the intercoastal waterways. He doesn't know what intercoastal or waterways means. Okay, look. Inner, what, causeway? You don't know what any of these words mean. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know what you're saying. You're like a parrot. <laughs> 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 Intercoastal cause wait wait. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever even been to Florida, dude? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded like a You lot. started to say no. No, dude, no, no, so. no. If it was a deformed hand and it was like missing a couple fingers and that's Florida, I'm over here sometime. Oh panhandle. So you've been Oh yeah. Pan uh, pan yeah, the panhandle is what they call it. But I ain't trying to fuck I fuck with the panhandle, dude. Panhandle that's the nice. best part of Florida. I wouldn't panhandle. say it's the best, but it is an, a nice fuck. You ever been to Clearwater, dude? The Scientologists so, yeah. the Scientologists run that town and I'll tell you this, they keep it clean. Ooh. It's a clean town. I think I've been Ooh. there. You go into Tampa and you're like kind of dirty. You go into Clearwater, you're like, hmm. 
hmm, this is a nice little Always area. What's what's different? And they're like, oh, the the Church of Scientology runs this town. And you're like, <laughs> ah, okay. What if science it's almost like is what saves us from like the world going to shit? Like it definitely won't be because they believe that uh, alien species souls died in a volcano and then p- went into different animals or different fucking yeah. Neanderthals, and but that's what Scientology is just honest religion. Like religion's trying to hide all the crazy bullshit they believe in, and Scientology's like, look, okay, we believe in all this fucking wild shit, and also pay us twenty bucks a month, and we'll fucking you'll be. That good. is true. You they, know, they, they, that's yeah, like, like old just school. Give us your money. And, and yeah, also, if you talk, and also if you talk about us, we'll sue you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But like, I would rather live under that regime with no homelessness, nothing else, no wars, and they're just we're just all believing in some bullshit. You don't think that there would be homeless people if. We were in like a Scientologist. So, bro, they'd kill. <laughs> they'd kill if, the homeless. If the state religion of the United States was there, Scientology, wouldn't be any homeless be, people be, because yeah. Scientology is a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, and so the people so at the bottom of the Ponzi scheme just start a new Ponzi scheme. Mm-hmm. And so they, Ponzi schemes all the way down. The bro. people at the bottom get the people at the top to join their Ponzi scheme, and then they get those people to join, and then it just goes into a circle, <laughs> dude. Equilibrium. Equilibrium. It's like all of yeah. the wealth is evenly distributed. Yeah, dude. dude. Genius. Nice. I was listening to some of my Christian radio the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to a lot of Christian talk radio. Do you? What's the best prayers you ever heard on there? You ever heard a good personal prayer? Or uh, sometimes they'll say a funny prayer that's like, pray for Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> or like, pray that the Biden family is stopped. <laughs> You know, it's, it's crazy, dude. It's like regular FM radio when they're talking about like new world order, population control, and shit. Oh damn, bro! It's, it's cool as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah, if you live in Chattanooga, eighty-eight point nine, dude. That Shout radio out eighty-eight point nine. Insane. Have us on. We'll come on and talk, dude. I would love to talk. Oh to my new god, world order. <laughs> That's my shit, dude. I love talking that. They shit. were um, they were talking some shit. They're like this guy. They were like, their scientists like to know everything. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're like, I feel like that's implied. They're like, but not us. <laughs> <laughs> we only want to know what we need to know. Exactly. <laughs> we don't, don't want to know anything at all. <laughs> Scientists have to know everything. Well, <laughs> as opposed to knowing nothing. Yeah, that's great. If you knew anything, you would know that you're crazy. All I can tell you is that you don't need to know anything that's not written in the Bible. Damn Skippy. Wait, so. that was a double negative. So you don't need to know how to cook. Dude. You don't need to know how to get clean water. You oh, don't need time. to know how <laughs> to drive a car. You don't need to know how to fix a wound. Honestly, that's how the Amish live. All Christians, if you're a real Christian, you have to be like a Mennonite Amish kind of fuck. That's what I'm saying. I, there, you know, like in the Bible, it says if your eye causes you to sh- sin, cut it off and shit. Like your hands cause you to. Sin. I didn't you know. You that. know that, right? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> they should just. There should be way more mutilated Christians. Is all I'm saying. They should. All, there should be like nobody with eyes and like. That's why so many dudes are church. transitioning, dude. They're like, God, I'm sinning. I <laughs> <laughs> was like, I if your dick should anymore. cause you to sin. You <laughs> <laughs> all all trans women were very Christian men. <laughs> that felt bad. <laughs> Radical. Why'd Christians. you cut your dick off? I am. Um, <laughs> That's how I'm going to start referring to <laughs> trans people as <laughs> radical Christians. <laughs> Look at those radical Christians over Not there. Dicks off for sin. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, dude. What happens to the dicks after they're cut off? They they're turn, them, them. They turn them, them into vaginas. No, they're keeping parts. Have you ever seen the... I can show you the video of the, them doing the surgery. No, you I don't never wanna, watched it? Mm, no. Nah, it's pretty interesting. You wonder if they you ever watched up? it? I've seen frames like they'll pop up and shit for it's, sure. It's pretty I'd, fucking brutal, dude. Yeah, dude. I'd they really cut know. off your dick and balls and. Well, they like turn like it inside hole. out. Yeah, and they use like the extra skin for your labia. Would y'all fuck a trans chick Let's for science it. just to see if like if you go far enough if they actually close the hole of the penis? You post stop penis. Talking about post stop. Like, yeah, they um, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a vagina. Well, I'm talking now. about fucking their pussy. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm talking about going in it's because, look, if you turned a penis inside out and the head with a little pee pee hole, you know, if it wasn't sewn up, <laughs> they well, they move your uh, they move your urethra. Yeah, they literally, they literally like move it. Yeah, but you else. still got that hole with the skin wrap. And so what I'm saying is, that if you had a big old dick and this this you know trans, woman I'll say didn't this. Have a big okay, dick, I'll yeah. say it, this. Could you break through? It's got to be could an American. It's got to be an American because the ones in Thailand, the pictures I've seen don't look great. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> they don't look great, dude. I'll tell you. That they don't look good. Uh, okay, yeah. they don't look good. Listen, listen, it looks like just a hole. Look, I gotta there. say something. I Ugh. gotta say this so it's bad. bad. A ladyboy hole. If or is that just like a straight up trans person? Like I mean, it's just transition. I mean, a hole. Look, yeah, like butthole is here, and then oh, that's scary. It's just a hole. Yeah. Look. I gotta, I gotta tell you all this analogy real it's, quick. Yeah, not it's sexy. not sexy. It's not. It's not anything attractive. It's like fucking all. a wound. <laughs> it, it literally is fucking a wound. That's crazy. I mean, that's what it is. That's like how people get gauges. You have to plug it when they ha when they I've heard get that. it done. You have to keep it yeah. plugged so it doesn't it doesn't heal. it doesn't heal shut. And then you just have a flat spot. You have to keep a dildo in, yeah. like yeah. Look, if you had a Look, it's not a I have to time, dude. Look, can I, I can't I, wait till science gets bro, better to where we can, bro, can where we can make pussy better pussies, there. dude. Yeah. We need bro. to grow better pussies. Bro, I have dude, I've been president. thinking on this. Bro, look, okay. We have a trans woman who used to have a small dick. Also, the, pause. The trans cocks don't look great either. Go ahead. Oh, look, look, I've look, never look. seen a trans penis. They like, look pretty good. The vagina grow, to yeah, dick. They don't look good. I know that they take like leg meat and then like roll. No, no, no. They grow like they put a hormone in your arm or your leg and they okay. grow a cock on it and then they cut that off. I and saw this guy online off. that was in a car accident. He was in a really, really, really bad car accident and he lost his dick. Yeah, like, yeah. It was and removed. they used his thumb. And, well, they had to put his dick on like an artery in his arm to heal. And his dick was just hanging off his elbow. Like, literally, his own dick was connected to it, like his elbow to heal. But he, he couldn't afford to get it put back on his <laughs> No, dude! <laughs> no, dude! So this is was the South Park stuck. episode. Uh, no, dude, I swear That's to God. Oh, Park my God. <laughs> this is real. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this guy has, so you're saying he had his wiener on his weenus. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. He's, like, oh trying to cook God, spaghetti. Dude. It's getting in the Bro. water and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does he feel the pain when it boils? Yes, dude, it's oh, his dick, damn, bro. Yeah, but it's a thrown onto your elbow. Maybe you don't feel it as hard. Uh, no fucking way, dude. I'm just imagining him bumping his elbow into a bunch of shit. And he's Talk like, about funny, oh, bro. Yeah, God. yeah. They're like, what? Yeah, and nobody oh, can. That's the that's the loneliest you can be with like a physical problem because anyone you tell will piss themselves laughing at you. you know no, not not oh, if yeah, you dude, you're not like, getting they're any. They're like, sympathy. dude, this is really personal, but and you're like, well, <laughs> oh, dude. oh, what the fuck? Not Put that away. There's kids. What are you doing? It was dude. like. <laughs> there was videos like where he's talking about it and he's wearing like a Hawaiian shirt and it's hanging out. And oh it's, like, my god, his, bro! His dick. It, it, honestly, his dick. I would be so distracted constantly. Wait, so what's down there? Just nothing. Just it's his bobble sack, and that's it. Probably just his bobbles, dude. <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> Wait, only. Do you think you can like get hard? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh fuck, that chick's hot. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> You're just crossing your arms. You're like, oh, shit, that kind of feels that's good, true. dude. That's a good way to jack <laughs> off on the bus. You're, You're just, just sitting there. Oh, I got an itch. My bad. I got a rash. <laughs> Bed bug. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and it. then a mess just comes out down there. <laughs> you just like, sorry, I pissed myself. <laughs> you just come like it goes from your balls out your elbow. <laughs> elbow cock, dude. What were you saying? Bro, okay, look, <laughs> I've been thinking on this shit. This has been fucking me up in the head. Look, I got to get this shit out. Okay, if you had a trans woman with a tiny dick previously, mm. and now it's a nice little tight pussy, and you get like a big old cock up in there, like a real fucking big dick fucking it, and then what if, you know how like when you put on a rubber glove and you take it off and it comes out the opposite way? Whoa. What I if got when you, you pulled dude. the dick out? Whoosh, Pussy came with it. It's a dick again. It's a fucking empty dick. It's just it's oh literally paper thin dick. That would be well, insane. They, some of them have an issue because they're too small, so there's not enough skin to like make 
a pussy with. Damn. Oh dude. man. What you know how you embarrassing? Imagine the doctor telling you your dick is too small. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to, to say. Cut <laughs> off. You know how embarrassing that is to be like, hey, sorry, I don't know how to break this to you, but your cock's too small to make it into a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my you god! You don't have you enough cock jump for off a, a bridge, yeah, dude. dude. You're like, uh, where's why do you think that so many of them kill themselves? <laughs> is there is there roof <laughs> access on the building, doctor? Well, so just this window or what? <laughs> oh, oh, dude. And then if you yeah, had a big dick, suck. you'd have a really loose pussy, and people think you're a whore. But no, nah, you just have a lot of labia. Here's my thing: you it's can like remove as much as you want. That's what I'm saying. Oh, they really? Can, they can cut as much as they want out, like away. So if you're if you're fucking hung to, your I'm gonna. Knees, I'm about to say matter. I need to get a few inches cut off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude I'm not you, trans or anything, but I'm just causing a problem. Well, yeah. I was watching Two Bears One Cave, and they were researching the fact that you can get um <clears throat> you can get filler. You know, how people get filler in their cheeks. Uh -huh. You can get filler in your cock. Yeah. Did they, they say do. how much that cost exactly? Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> they did, and it's like I think it's like uh, twenty five hundred bucks. Not bad. That's nothing. Not bad, and they That's do it in Austin for a Texas. bigger dick, dude. and they do it in Austin, Texas. And oh, you can go to their website, and you can pull up uh, their pictures, and they will show you the results. <laughs> they have a girth procedure and a length procedure. I'm, I'm going girth. in like, give me the works, dude. <laughs> Whatever you I got, I'll all. take two. I want it all. <laughs> Double it. <laughs> More. I can't even like, stand up anymore. <laughs> you know somebody's going to be addicted to that in 10 years. Oh, dude, yeah. Are Someone's already. Why, people are addicted the, to all kinds of things. They haven't had the time to get the addiction too bad yet. You <laughs> that's know, the, the thing <laughs> with filler is f like your body will eat filler eventually. It goes away. So you have to get it redone. So his dick ain't dang, and you so, so your dick goes from like being bigger than it ever was, and you watch just it shrink like back down to, <laughs> to loose, and now oh you have a four. My. Now With you have foreskin again. So if you're circumcised, Ooh, you might okay. be able to re-get your re -get your it, foreskin. Dude, I would do it just to get my foreskin back, and then cut it off after. How fucked is later. it? By the way, you're you're a <laughs> fucked up person. You cut off your child's foreskin. How fucked is it that our parents just mutilated our cocks? Yeah, dude, that's good. I know me. it's talked about like quite often, but it is fucked up. No, I dude. Didn't. No Fuck foreskin. Fuck Honestly, foreskin. I'm happy I got circumcised and baptized really? as a kid because now I can go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Forget, they don't ask the dad. They don't ask they, the dad. I didn't get a choice. It oh, was really? the mom's choice. Yeah, they don't. Oh, they only. I didn't ask me. They asked the mom. They're like, "What do you want your son's cock to look like?" <laughs> Came back with him and had already done it, and I was like, oh. "No way!" What if they ask somebody completely different? Like, <laughs> hey, just the front uh, just guy out the walking hallway. down the hall. Hey, what do you think? Chop it, <laughs> chop it, dude. Cut it, dude. Oh, I'm cut. cut it hey, off. Let's, looks better. Hey, it looks better. Give me a quarter. We're gonna flip a coin on this one. <laughs> And they have to keep that as the standard because <laughs> if it starts to change, if people stop getting circumcised now, in twenty years. Us, like people our age, won't be able to fuck anyone. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> besides, besides Jewish people, it's just Americans that do. Yeah, it. like really? Europeans exactly. are uncut. Exactly, it's I a know. normal. It's gonna thing. be embarrassing when you like go when they go. You're doing what to your cock? Yeah, they're but they're fucking. Dumbfounded. But are you? Yeah, like, I, I thought you only this. the weird Jews did that, I like the Orthodox ones. You're cutting your. It cock. says to do it in the Bible, so all those Europeans <laughs> are going to fuck it hell. <laughs> Bro, I thought I thought you were more like patriotic, dude. I can't believe you're saying that the Europeans have better dicks than us, bro. I'm not saying they have better dicks. I'm saying it's fucked up to he's, mutilate your baby. He's saying cock. he prefers them uncut. I prefer no cut. Uncut. I prefer oh. them cut. I prefer an uncut cock. Really? Is yours <laughs> uncut for real? You're saying you're no, uncut. No, I'm cut. Yeah. I'm cut. So why do you prefer a cock? That's gay. I'm saying it's fucked up that you're mute. What is the point in circumcising a dick? To make it look cooler. <laughs> That's it, dude. It doesn't look cool yeah, when it has fade, a sleeve dude. on it. Bro. A fade. <laughs> <laughs> you leave half the foreskin on, the foreskin gets less and less as it goes up, <laughs> curves But that's around. the thing is it only looks normal to you because that's what, that's the, the dick you see thing. the most. Bro, bro, but here's the thing. What if they cut lightning bolts into it like like they do at the barber <laughs> shop with like different designs? I'm like, I'm going to take mine to a Will real Will you cut cool my doctor. football number into it? <laughs> I'm number 59, dude. I couldn't get 69. I tried. Dude, you get the word baloney on it. You know what I mean, dude? That'd be awesome. It's like it looks like a big tube of baloney. Dudes are getting 
uh, dick sleeves now, tattoo sleeves on their dog. Uh, that's pretty badass, man. That's a pretty evil dick, man. If I saw a dick like that, I'd have I'm to gonna suck get out the. Of uh, I'm gonna get the. Uh, <laughs> Teardrop on your dick. Did you hear what he just said? He'd have to suck it out of respect. Yeah, man. If you see a fucking gangster dick on you, man, you're not gonna. You're not gonna, you're not gonna <laughs> he's got gang tattoos on. You're it. not gonna like shy. You gotta fucking please him, and, and then he'll leave. Well, he'll give you trouble. If my you dick don't. went to jail. I'd Jordan. rather I'd rather see a teardrop than a fucking swastika. You see a swastika on a dick, that's worse. Yeah. Dude. It'd I have to be know, a, dude. Aryan Brotherhood tattoos are smaller than the. But do you want a sad dick or a proud dick? You know what I mean. Oh my like, god. Okay. <laughs> you don't want a dick with low Your dick confidence. stands with pride. <laughs> <laughs> Teardrop tattoo dick. It's sad, man. It doesn't know shit about life. At least the Nazis know a thing or two. No, you know know that, I mean? it means that dick has killed someone, dude. Isn't that That's your joke? I'm still is. taking the yeah. Nazi yeah, yeah. dick. I was, th- I was smiling thinking about that because my parents came to the show... The end of the joke is like every boy's dream is just to kill one girl with their dick. <laughs> yeah, I love that bit. <laughs> it's so funny. I was like, I was just like the next day I was driving and I was like, God, I told, I said that for my mom. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Do you remember like one of the first open mics that I ran and my mom was there and I said like the wildest shit. Yeah, dude. I, I said everything. Believe. My whole uh, set uncensored. Think about how proud your parents will be when they see how far you've come. My dad told it's me it's gonna take a while. A very long time. It's gonna take now. a yeah. very long time. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, dude, for them to be like, okay, all right. My dad, my dad said <laughs> the first nice respect. thing about my comedy like two days ago. Like nice. after my grandma died, he was like, "You're actually kind of funny, Nate." And I was like, "Thanks for not saying you suck. Quit comedy tonight. That was really kind." <laughs> He tells you to quit. Yeah, all the time. He's dude, only fuck ever your dad. told him to quit. Yeah, dude. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's probably going to watch this. <laughs> it's like, um, oh, well, then not fuck your dad. No, no, it's okay. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm playing dad. No, it's it's, <laughs> it's good to have your parents not support you, dude, I think. No, my yeah. mom's overly supportive. I know my supportive. parents support me too much. Yeah, I'm like, you guys too. need to like make me leave. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> too yeah. nice. That's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same well, shit, dude. My mom's like way too supportive, so it is kind of nice that my dad's like yeah, you give me the shit. Balance. Yeah, balance exactly. is nice. That's the thing. It's like they're both extremes, like, but they do balance each other yeah. out. My as dad as is my double. dad's too lonely and wants friends, so he has to be like, yeah, do that. <laughs> so he doesn't make me mad. That's Damn, bro. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. We need to link your dad up with some friends, dude. Let's link yeah. your dad up with yeah. my dad and his it's, dad uh, and make them all He's be not friends. an easy person uh, to hang out with. <laughs> we'll get an unlikely trio of dads. You think I'm hard to hang out with, dude? Hang out with dad. I think you're just hard. Hang out with my dad. You're, you're, you're like, hard. I learned it from you. <laughs> <laughs>